Uh, oh. Now that's hot. You know, it's kind of, it's, <laughs> that was actually found by uh, Tony. Good job, good job, Tony, for finding that picture. It's pretty awesome. I think uh, we're the only ones that haven't been covering the uh, Apple-Samsung trials that have been happening the past few days. <laughs> we don't care. We don't... Okay, we do. We do care. I'm just kidding. It's just, it really makes us sick to our stomachs about this crap. I mean, it's, it's awful. I'm just going to admire this. Uh, go ahead and do the intro stuff. Oh. Welcome, 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 my Android friends, to Tuesday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I am David, your Android junkie, or AndroidSpin.com. AndroidSpin.com. We're spinning something, but it's not exactly Androids all the time. Did that make sense? It didn't. Somebody, I'm going to fire my writers. Anyways, I appreciate you guys clicking in, as always. But anyways, let's have some fun and talk about Android. All right, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 is officially official, folks. Ready? Not bad, actually. Give it me. No, don't say it. Can I do a show without, you know, talking about my junk? I don't think it's possible. Yeah, this 10-inch tablet delight comes in three different versions, the 16 gigabyte version 32 and 64 gigabyte version, so, you know, pick your poison, people. It will be rocking a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core X Linus processor, so that's yummy, as well as it has two gigabytes of RAM. Now, the only thing that kind of sucks is the HD display is not, you know, titties. The display's still pretty good, it's 1280 by 800 but I mean, this is not for watching your porno on your illegally downloaded movies, guys. This is business. You can tell by this video here, it's showing you a lot of what it's got to offer, you know, business-wise. Soon businesses will be like, what, Dingleberry who? Oh, I'm sorry, Blackberry. <laughs> My bad, you know, I, I, I know a bunch of rim jobs have are on the line. Zing! Anyways guys, if you want to watch this fully demonstration video, check down links below in the balls there. Watch the monotone review and uh, get excited. Okay, it's not that monotone. Yes, it is. Benchmark scores for the new HTC One X Plus phone have been released on the internet. Oh, it was posted and it showed a lot of naughty little things. Not little things like a 1.7 gigahertz quad-core Tegra 3 processor. It's got balls. It's got Seriously, I said I wasn't gonna, okay, too late, I blew it. A 1280 by 720 HD display, and of course that chewy treat jelly bean, so yeah. There's also been some rumors and some reports from some of the other websites saying that this phone was also named the HTC Eviter. The hell is that? Damn it, that's what I was gonna name my first child. Anyways, the benchmarks are off the charts, so hey, let's hope that this phone, you know, Brings HTC, you know, from the confines of eradication in the market. I mean, geez, I'm worried about HTC. I mean, you know, they gotta, they gotta get back up there because they're gonna make the next Nexus phone. You heard it here first. I'm calling it HTC Nexus 2, released December 21st, 2012. The Marion's got it right. Our good friend The Flash has teamed up with Cruiser Light to make some awesomely awesome AOKP -OK shirts. Check it out. Ooh. He created their new icon and he's just he's just a madman. He knows how to make some icons. So if you're looking to get an AOKP -OK shirt, get the one that The Flash just made. Check down links below. Do it now. Apex Launcher has released a beta version of their jelly bean based launcher. Now some of you might have already been using Apex or you've been going back and forth between Novo or Apex and even maybe Holo. Well now it's time to go back to Apex, especially if you're running some jelly bean. Pretty much what this does is bring all the nice little jelly bean features to your phone. Because watching the demonstration of jelly bean and like the certain little things where it moves widgets or icons or resizes everything, you didn't really have that if you had like a, you know, a secondary home replacement. But now you do. Apex has brought everything that jelly bean has to offer and put it on there and of course it's nutter butter smooth. So if you want to give it a try, and I really suggest you do because <laughs> I know what's best for you, you lovers of Android. Check down links below in the balls area, get that on your phone, give it a try, let me know how it is. Also speaking of launchers, Chameleon Launcher has been released beta version in the Play Store. There is a catch though, make sure I kind of messed up in the article, I just was trying to get it out as fast as I can. I got home from work, had a crappy day, and I just Make sure that you 
you know, gave to donations to the Kickstarter. They're not just giving it out for free. Must read before you download, people. Read before you download. Yeah, so if you gave a donation to the Kickstarter, you probably already have yours. You're probably already rocking it. Let me know how it is, you know, chameleon launcher. Let me know how it is down below in the comments area. I'm sure it's awesome. Google freaking now. Yes, Google now is just something that everybody wants on their phone. I think we get lonely, so we feel that we have these, you know, phones strapped to our freaking asses, so we want to talk to it. But the thing is, Google Now, you know, has more features. It gets to know you. It's pretty awesome, I might say. I've been using it, but I mean... But, you know, besides asking weather and celebrities' ages and the scores of the Giants games, I mean, really don't talk to it that much. You know, mainly, it just really can Google a lot of things really quickly for you. If you ask for it, there it is, you know. Nude pictures of, there it is. Where's the nearest strip club? There it is. So, I mean, it's awesome. It just, it... And it doesn't have a stupid name. But yes, my ICS friends, your Google Now with full-on 100% voice search capability is now here for you. Yeah, before they gave like a little, okay, just download this secondary app, and then we do this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of making fun of developers. They're awesome. I shouldn't be doing that. But anyways, yeah, there used to be where you had to download this third-party voice search and blah, blah, blah. But now they've integrated the ICS voice search into the new APK file, so you should be rocking. As far as I know, a couple of people have tried it and said it's uh, worked pretty well, so let me know if you've tried it down below in the comments area. And uh, just be like me and just be obsessed with the ages and height of celebrities. Don't judge me. All right, guys, I know on Tuesday's show, I usually do like app or game of the week and you know, some tweaks and stuff like that. We're gonna start doing separate videos for app and game of the week. You know, just because I think uh, with the channel, a lot of the videos lately have just been me. <laughs> me. And your face just acting like a retard. So now we're gonna start trying to do an app of the week, a game of the week, just with its own separate video. And this week's app of the week is Picturine. I don't know, but check down links below. Fellow writer and uh, awesome dude who, you know, I'm just, I'm just blowing smoke up his ass. He really sucks. Just kidding, Will. Yes, Will the Thrill Gill. <laughs> He's got an awesome name. I'll give him that much. He did a nice little um, screencast video of this app. So check it out. Link's below. It's a pretty awesome app for pictures. We love who doesn't want pictures. So check it out. Well, all right, guys. I appreciate you clicking it as always. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel for this show, for the HTC One S show, and of course, for future app and game reviews. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button, show love with a like, like I always say. Check down links below for all the social media you can follow me in. As always, let's follow me into the world of cyberspace. Well, all right guys, I am David, your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been the Mandroid Show. Six pack of five hour energy shots. Yeah, that'll last the night.